I'm Scott Tischler, and I'm the Diamond Hunter. I've been doing this for 13 years. And let me tell you something, this is a dangerous business. Most people don't understand the process it takes to get a diamond into your jewelry store. It typically starts out with me having to jump on an airplane, go to some adventurous and exotic locations. This job has taken me all around the world. I've been to Africa, I've been to Europe, I've been to Russia, I've been to China. I mean, how many people can hop on an airplane, travel 40 hours, land, hop on a helicopter at night, the next morning, drive another four hours, to the jungle to buy diamonds. Someone's gonna make some money today. Who wants to make money? Hunting for diamonds is something I definitely can't do alone. That's why I need a team of people I can trust. Let me tell you about Jonathan Chop. He's like my brother. He's my right hand man in the business. And when you do diamonds, you need someone that you can trust. There's a lot of fakers out there. There's a lot of people that portray themselves in a, in a different light. And then we come to find out that they're, they're nothing like they said they were. Then there's Bill Brandon. He's my logistics man. We can't go anywhere without him. If there's a problem, he has to solve it. If we're in a tough situation, he's our eyes and ears in America. He's our lifeline. Scott will say, hey Bill, would you be able to figure out how to make this happen? Can you figure out how to make this a reality? Let me tell you about Mike Van Arzo. He's a UFC fighter. He's our security. The guy's a freak of nature. I mean, he's a beast. When we walk into a room, he commands respect. I only use the best of the best, but literally, we're putting it all on the line every time. Hello, this is Scott. Okay. How many diamonds you need? Today, we got a huge order from Rene Latrec, and now we have to see if we can make it happen. For this client, we need 300 carats, and that means we're going to have to go to Freetown, Sierra Leone, one of the most dangerous places in the world. Doing this job means we're in the middle of nowhere, putting our lives at risk every day. There's so many ways to die out here, and you can never let your guard down. Control factor is zero now. The train is rugged, and it's almost impassable. And if the weather doesn't get you, the armed locals probably will. Now, first of all, everybody will f you over in this business. Every single person. Because we're talking about millions of dollars here. If you don't play by their rules, anything can happen. While I'm in Sierra Leone, I get a call from one of my contacts. We've got a gentleman that wants to meet with us that's supposed to have a lot of beautiful diamonds. You gotta put your money where your mouth is. I mean, it's really about, it's about the money. So if they can produce, great. On the way to the office, I started to get kind of a bad feeling. We see a compound, it's a house, but it has serpentine wire up top. And we see guys standing outside with guns. When I went into the room, I looked around, there were 13 guys bigger than me. I pulled out the stones and they looked beautiful. They almost looked too good, too beautiful. Our gemologist looked at the stones, loved them, but we carry with us special diamond testers that will test if they're diamond. So she placed it on the diamond and she froze like a deer in headlights. She looked at me and said, Scott, what do I do? And I said, why? She said, they're fake. So now I'm starting to panic a little bit. They've stepped up their guns. You could tell they were a little bit irritated. So I quickly had to jump up and say, Here, let me take a look at those stones. You know, it's just the diamond tester. It's the weather. So I went behind the desk and I took a look at the stones. They definitely were fake, but I had to get us out of that situation. So I took a look at the stones and I said, they're beautiful, some of the best I've ever seen. We want to take them, but the money's in the States. So we shook hands, we, we did the deal in their mind, and then we left. A ton of scam artists and diamonds, especially in Sierra Leone. You know where that, that secret stash is back in the room just in case, right? Yeah. We pack up the car, I grab my knife, grab my gun. We decided to move hotels just as a precaution. Because in Sierra Leone, if they're not gonna scam you the money, they're gonna try to kidnap you to get the money. But that exact same group, had extorted and had conned a group out of a million dollars. It was a dangerous mission. And we're lucky to get back with our lives. We got the diamonds, and that's all that matters. I mean, the real reason I do it, yeah, the money's good, but the adventure's fantastic. I mean, it's exciting. Every trip is a trip of a lifetime. I'm Scott Tischler, and I'm the Diamond Hunter.